Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, welcome to this hearing of the City Council Transportation Committee. I am Daniel Rodriguez, the chair of the committee. First, let me recognize my colleagues who are here with us today. Councilmember Garani, Vaca, Chim, Van Bremer, Richard, Constantinides, and Menchaca. Today, we will be voting on three important pieces of legislation related to street safety. This committee and this council have been active partners with it, this administration on the Vision Zero initiative and at eliminating, eliminating traffic fatality from our city's streets. Through a smart data driving approach to a street design, robust enforcement, and more education and awareness among the public, traffic crashes can be prevented. I am proud that today we will be adding these bills to the already extensive list of street safety related legislation advanced by this committee. Proposed intro 1116-A sponsored by Council Member Van Bremer will go a long way toward enhancing and straining into law the many improvements that the city has made to publicly available crash data. Robust, comprehensive, user-friendly data about collisions on the prints, much of the rest of the work of Vision Zero, as it allows New Yorkers to see for themselves where the biggest problems are and help devise suggestions for solutions and improvements, while also making it easier to keep government accountable. This bill will codify the online Vision Zero view portal and require DOT to publish an online crash map. Proposed intro 1270 and 1257-A, also sponsored by Council Member Van Bremen, will require DOT to develop strategies for enhancing pedestrians and traffic safety near schools and to report on their implementation, protecting our most vulnerable street users, such as children, on their way to school. It's a key component of Vision Zero, and this bill will ensure that their safety gets the attention it deserves. Finally, proposed intro 1463-A, which I introduced, would require the city to create a new public a notification alert system for hit and run in, uh, crashes. Hit and runs are some of the most uh, cowardly acts to occur on our street as people who leave the scene of an, in, a crash not only inhibit a proper investigation from taking place, but in many cases also delay vital medical assistance from reaching injured victims, one of them dying every week because those criminal drivers leave the scene. In fiscal year 2016, there was a total of 44,865 hit and run and 510 arrests, 38 of these a crash resulted in the death of a pedestrian, but only 13 arrests were made. In 22 crashes, it resulted in serious injuries, but only 14 arrests were made. In the first three quarters of 2017, there were 42 hidden runs resulting in critical injury. 18 led to an arrest, but the data is reported quarterly, and it is not clear if an open case from a previous quarter that has since led to an arrest is captured, so that number may be artificially low. There is no an FY17 annual report up yet, which will be as comprehensive as the data from a to a FY16. These reckless individuals need to be held accountable, and it is my hope that just as we Amber Alert and Silver Alert this new alert system will allow the NYPD to leverage the eyes and ears of the over 8 million New Yorkers to quickly find and apprehend hidden run suspects. I'm proud to sponsor this bill in honor of Jim Paul Guerrero, also known as J a DJ Jim Paul, a DJ from La Mega 97, 97 who was killed last December by the hidden run driver in Brooklyn. Along with previous legislation, we have passed increasing penalties for hit and run drivers. It is my hope that this new alert system will make people think twice before leaving the scene of a crash. 
I now invite our Majority Leader, Council Member Van Bremer, to deliver his remark, remarks on intro 11, 16, and 1257. Thank you very much, Mr. Chair, and congratulations on your amazing work, and I want to thank you for um, co-sponsoring the two pieces of legislation that um, I'm thrilled that we're taking up today, and of course, all of your work on, on Vision Zero, uh, and uh, 1116, which codifies the Vision Zero portal, and uh, it's going to require the commissioner uh, to publish a map showing the locations of motor vehicle-related injuries and fatalities in the city uh, in a manner that allows users to disaggregate crash uh, data by year, month, and time, and day of occurrence. Incredibly important for folks to know uh, where the danger is. And uh, 1257, which uh, is uh, a bill that we're uh, really proud of, but uh, also tragically uh, came to us because we had a young eight-year-old boy, Noshad Nahyan, uh, who was killed on Northern Boulevard crossing the street to go to school at PS 152 in Woodside, uh, holding the hand of his 11-year-old sister. Um, uh, he did not make it across the street uh, because a truck um, uh, killed him. And, and so it's really, really important that we be able to identify which are the most dangerous schools in terms of the streets around them uh, where are these crashes happening? And uh, 1257, our Safe Routes to School Act, will require the Department of Transportation to actually enact a plan to identify the 50 most dangerous schools and then enact a plan uh, and publish it to make those schools that are most dangerous, like PS 152, uh, to be safer, and ultimately all of this, of course, uh, to save lives. So with that, I'll just thank uh, uh, the chair and all of uh, the co-sponsors and all of my colleagues and, of course, uh, the staff, both the Transportation Committee staff and then my staff, Matthew Wallace, and my uh, uh, Deputy Chief of Staff in charge of Legislation and Budget, Andres Vija, who's taking a picture right now, but I want to recognize his work on these pieces of legislation as well. So thank you very much, Mr. Chair. Again, I would like to thank the Speaker for also allowing to move this bill tomorrow at the State meeting as we're going to be voting. A hit and run is an epidemic that is killing a lot of beautiful New Yorkers and tourists who come here. And it is uh, possible to eradicate this epidemic and with this alert uh, and the bill, two bills, a piece of legislation that I've also been working with my colleague, uh, Jimmy, Majority Leader Jimmy Van Bremer. We hope that we provide more tools and more information to New Yorkers so that we can definitely eradicate hit and run in New York City. With that, I now call for a vote on proposal intro 11, 1116-8, 1257-A and 1463-A, I recommend a yes vote and ask the committee clerk to please call the roll. William Martin, committee clerk, roll call vote, committee on transportation. All items are coupled. Chair Rodriguez. Aye. Constantinidis. Aye, and I'd like to be added as a co-sponsor to 1257-A and 1463-A. Richards. Uh, thank you. I vote. I also would like to be added to intro 1257A and also 1116A. Thank you. Garadnik. Aye. Vaca. Aye. Chin. I vote aye, and also please add me as a co sponsor to 1463A. Thank you. Van Bramer. I vote aye. Menchaca. I vote, I vote aye, and if you can please add me to 1463A as co-sponsor. Thank you. Greenfield. Aye. By a vote of nine in the affirmative, zero in the negative, and no abstentions. All items have been adopted by the committee. Okay, I'm going to leave it open for the, I'm going to, I'm going to leave it open for the next few minutes, and with that, I would like to dedicate this bill that we pass in today to the family for Save Street Transportation Alternative, and all the advocate groups who are on the front line fighting for justice in this epidemic that is affecting our city.